Hello seniors and welcome to part the last of our AP government review. Uh, this section is going to cover basically like how the AP government is being structured, what exactly you should do. Um, so remember, it's a 50-50 test. So none of that complicated nonsense from AP US history. 50% of your grade is multiple choice, 50% of your grade is the FRQs. There are four FRQs, they are 12 and a half points each. Um, so you have 100 minutes for each of the essay questions and 45 minutes for the 60 multiple choice questions. So that means that you get about 45 seconds per multiple choice question and about 25 minutes on each of the essays. Um, this is more time than I've given you in class. So you should be pretty good. So my strategy usually with the multiple choice is if you can't answer it in about 45 seconds, move along. If you have time at the end, go back. I would, though, answer all of them as you go. Make sure that you're not doing the thing where you, like, mark on your sheet and then go back to the Scantron. That's not a great idea. Um, it means that you're probably not going to get to fill in your Scantron. Um, on the Scantron, remember that, like, you know, or on the multiple choice, uh, if you can at least narrow down one answer, hey, that's a better shot than you had before, right? So look through, make sure there's nothing you can pull out. So if it's a question about like uh, reapportionment, if any of them have you know the word Senate in it, you mark those out and know that now you're down to three choices. Um, the essays, you're going to have four of them. So what I suggest is you read through all of them first, decide which one you absolutely know, and then sort of like go on from there. If there's one that you're feeling super shaky on, save that one for last. Um, and write the ones that you feel strongest on, like, to begin with. You can write them in whatever order you want to. Just make sure that you label everything very, very clearly. Um, so, again, the FRQ is just free response. Um, it's not an essay. We've practiced a ton of these. Do not write it as an essay. Um, it's all graded using the rubric. So if it says tell us two ways in which, you got to tell the two ways. Um, the main thing is, like, keep writing till you get the points. So if it says tell us two ways, you've only talked about one, make sure you get to that second way. Or if it says identify, but you've only like sort of like said something, make sure that you actually identify what's going on. Um, be very focused. Make sure you understand what's being asked and you only answer what it's asking you to do. Make sure you give very clear evidence. So rather than saying, you know, like a case that would have made it illegal for segregation. You say, like Brown versus Board. Um, so the more uh, like intense you can be, the better uh, it's going to be. Um, so assume the reader doesn't really know much about what's going on and you're giving the most concrete details that you can that you're flushing out. Um, make sure your sentences are very simple, very pointed. Um, make sure that you're using all your government vocabulary words. Write as neatly as you can. Um, make sure you link all of your ideas together. I'm a big fan, as you know, of outlining everything beforehand, at least like jotting down in the question, like, here's what I want to make sure I talk about. Here's what I want to make sure you talk about so you don't get terribly um, distracted. And make sure you get at least one point per paragraph, no filler sentences, nothing else. Um, and make sure everything is backed up with ideas. Uh, mostly, though, short essays do not do well. So make sure that you're having like at least probably a page worth of writing. Um, one of my favorite strategies is to add extra. So you're not going to run out of time for this probably. You have 100 minutes. This is way more than I've given you. You usually only write these in like 15 to 20 minutes, so you have extra time. Um, so when you're totally finished, read back through and maybe add in some more if you're thinking of another point you could add. Um, don't worry about the spelling, the grammar. Like, I mean, that's okay, but really it's more about elaborating on your ideas, elaborating on what you uh, could add to it. Um, so for example, like you read, I like to basically leave a space between bullet point A, B, C, so that you could add in another sentence um, at the end if you had time. Um, I also like the strategy of the rule of three. So if you're going after a point, you need three sentences for it. So if the question is like explain um, a court case that led to desegregation, you would say Brown versus Board led to desegregation because it... Um, stated that no longer would these schools be allowed. Um, however, it was not for many more years that these were actually enforced. You could bring up Little Rock Nine, something like this. But like, make sure that you're elaborating on each point to show that you really like prove what is going on. Um, this is going to force you to fully address the question. Um, even if you feel like you're repeating yourself, I would go for this three sentence thing. Um, if it really is just a "What is this?" like, and you just need one sentence, cool. 
Um, but like if you end up with only like five sentences for a five part question, I don't think you've done a good job. Um, probably you need about three or more sentences per point. Um, those are what good essays look like. So that's the end. Um, Y'all are ready for this. This is so much easier than the AP US history exam. Y'all are so prepared for this. Um, just stay focused and you will absolutely have this. Um, if you want to review things, I think vocabulary would be a good review. I'm going to be in my room as late as you want me the day before. Um, I'll also be there early the morning of and we'll have breakfast tacos in my room. So I uh, come on by. Uh, let's do some vocabulary. Let's go over some things. You got this, seniors. 